All right, thank you, Rima. Um, I just want to. This is actually a very abbreviated version of a, a webinar that we did a little while ago. And while I forgot to put the link into the chat, I will drop it afterwards uh, for the recording of that. So, um, a couple of things I, I guess I want to basically just do a, a bit of a primer on. Uh, first, for those folks that aren't familiar with with badges um, and and how they differentiate between, say, just some random internet or random uh, um, image off of the internet, uh, badges are verified and they actually come with specific code built into them that uh, indicate that it is a verified badge and that you can check on those things. And many of us have these things without even recognizing it. Um, you know, as Miriam said in her presentation, I think ninety percent of us uh, have the bronze level one and I think she said 60% have the gold level one so there's a, a good chance that many folks here in the audience uh, have one or more of these here and you know there's a lot of things you can do with these that most people don't recognize that they have the ability to do um, when you get a badge, the first thing that it allows you to do is it allows you to share your badge, which is something I would encourage all of you to do if you haven't done so. So as you can see from this uh, here, you can share it to your LinkedIn profile, you can share it to your feed on LinkedIn, uh, you can share it to your feeds on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest. Uh, there's also a program called Canvas Portfolio, which you can actually uh, set up for free through our subscription that would allow you to do that. Um, if you're curious about how to do any of these things, uh, there's a series of videos at the link I just dropped in the chat. Uh, that go through and describe how to share your badge that you've received to all of these particular indiv individual outlets, if you will. Um, if you're interested beyond just getting badges, of actually using badges in your classes, um, you have that ability right now within Canvas. So uh, one of the things that you have the ability to do is to add this badges icon um, to your left-hand course menu under the settings option. Um, and if you don't know how to do that, I'd be happy to meet with you after this and show you how to go about it. Um, that will actually install Badger into your course and you can use Badger to uh, set up so that you can either award badges automatically or you can have it set up similar to what we've been doing with the online ed program where you actually, once you've completed the right sequence, you can go and claim your badge. Um, now, why would you want to have badges in your uh, in your course? Um, the main reason is is to gamify it, to add an element of fun. Uh, as you know, the uh, I think it was Susan was saying just beforehand, you know, things that we can do to further engage the the students in our classes and, and to make this a little bit more interesting. And if um, you know, as I was listening to Miriam's presentation, I was struck about, you know, the, as she was describing the types of students that are coming to us, both at the undergraduate and more and more at the graduate level now. Um, if you've ever watched them when they play video games, or for that matter, many of us with our own experiences, uh, when we play just games in general, I mean, uh, I, I can remember um, even myself playing Risk with my fraternity brothers when I was an undergrad with games that would go on that would span over three and four days at a time, probably not the best thing for our studies, uh, but, you know, that was the, the the nature of the engagement that we had and the, the, the fact that we wanted to be involved in these things. Um, now, we do have a formal badging program uh, that has been implemented here at Toro uh, that has been set up that have a, a variety of levels of badges, and uh, I'd be happy to, to work through this with any of the folks that are in the room here. Um, the actual program itself uh, is set up in such a way that uh, once a particular unit, uh, so a faculty member within a college gets permission from their leadership to propose a badge or a micro-credential, there's an application form that would come to the micro-credentials at Toro uh, office, which are the unit or initiative. Uh, which basically is uh, me. I'm the coordinator of that. Uh, I will work with you to complete that application. And once it's uh, completed and we have all the information in there, it gets submitted to the uh, Academic Affairs Committee, which is basically the provosts and deans. Um, and they are the ones that approve it. And as soon as they approve it, we can add it into our system, uh, which is Badger Pro. Um, five minutes. We, we are sorry, in the process. Seconds. Sorry. 
We are in the process of creating a site uh, on the Toro One portal. You'll see up in the corner there micro credentials at Toro, which will have all of the resources that you need. Uh, having said that, if you have any questions that uh, come up along the way as you're doing your application, uh, feel free to drop me a, an email address, um, which I've just dropped in the chat. Um, if you are curious as to what uh, has been approved already, uh, all you've got to do is go to our Badger Pro organization and you can see the almost 50 badges that have been approved to date. And um, finally, uh, every well, second Friday, I guess, the first Friday of the month and the third Friday of the month, um, I am just sitting in Zoom for an hour um, from 12.30 to 1.30 Eastern on the first Friday and from noon to 1 uh, Pacific on the third Friday of each month, uh, just waiting to take and to, to meet with people and answer questions that they might have about the badging program. And I've dropped the tiny URLs, which will be the Zoom links uh, for those in the chat. So don't click them now because you'll leave the room, but just copy and paste them.